What's up, WWE Games fans? This is Aaron, THQ Tank Kaufman, your WWE Games Community Manager, here with Senior Designer of WWE All-Stars, David Friedland, back again with another Inside the Ring edition. This time we're focusing on the Grappler class. And what are we going to see here today, Dave? Oh, we're going to see some really cool stuff here. Uh, the Grapplers are probably my favorite class in this game. They're the true technicians of this game. Maybe not the kind of character class you want to start with, but once you get a little experience under your belt, the grapplers get a lot of fun. And of course, you picked two of the greatest grapplers of all time, Brett, the Hitman Hart. Absolutely, the excellence of execution. Um, this guy has probably forgotten more moves than most of the current WWE superstars <laughs> know. And of course, what WWE game would be complete without the game? Indeed, the King of Kings, Triple H. Now, he's an interesting case here. There was some debate on whether or not he should be a grappler or a brawler. Uh, when we really dug deep into his moveset, we saw that this guy really is, at heart, a grappler, but with brawler sure. tendencies. So what you've got here is kind of a true hybrid, a guy who knows all the grapple trains but has some pretty fast striking for a grappler as well. Would you say there's any other superstar in the game that is close to his style? Um, it's hard to say. Maybe John Cena. You could say that... Uh, Cena is a brawler with some grappler tendencies, whereas Triple H is a grappler with some brawler tendencies. Sure. So who do you think is going to win this match? Triple H, Bret Hart? Well, I'm going to put my money on Hart here. I mean, when we created Bret Hart, you got to understand, WWE All-Stars has a ton of moves, more moves than some of these guys actually perform in the ring. Not the case with Bret Hart. Bret Hart, you know, literally, what hasn't he done at some point in his career? So you're going to see right here, right off the bat, what really defines the grapplers, the grapple chains. You can see what uh, Brett's doing right here. He's jumped right into it. He's chaining from one grapple to another. Very smooth, uh, very fluid, uh, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. And is there, is there, it cannot almost be endless if you can really skillfully uh, do it right? Well, I won't say endless. It can go on for a long time. Here's the thing. Every grapple in this game is reversible. So if you are skilled enough, uh, there we see a reversal right there, yep. Triple H, you can reverse these. But uh, if you're, you are even more pro, we have what's called reversal blockers in this game. You may occasionally in this game uh, see a little X come up over the reversal. Mm -hmm. That means that the person doing the attack has timed his press of the reversal button at the exact same time the defender pressed his button, thus blocking the reversal. That sounds like the grappler class is, is really the extreme technicians of all the four classes in All-Stars. Absolutely, and each one of these guys goes about it in their own ways. They lead in from different places. Some prefer to start from uh, quick grapples, some prefer from strong grapples, some can even do it from running maneuvers, some do it versus on ground. Each one of them has their own unique style. I love how you guys got a lot of the little touches of authenticity in there, especially with uh, Triple H going right for the knees, and there yep, you go. There's another more, reversal, uh, yep. That could, have been, chain grappling. Yep, that could have been a chain of like six to seven attacks if uh, Triple H hadn't reversed it there. Up, oh, there we go. Cool. A little yeah. uh, extreme back body drop there. It's cool how you guys differentiated the, uh, the signature look going black and white with the finisher look being gold. Yeah, absolutely. And it, uh, it just tells people uh, through these color cues very early, uh, another reversal, uh, exactly what's going on. You'll see that a lot with uh, grapplers like this. Uh, where everybody's trading back and forth, trying to throw each other around, you'll see a lot more reversals there than you would uh, perhaps with brawlers oh. and their strike chain. Boy, Bret Hart has really given Triple H a number on his back. Oh, he is. Oh, what do we got here? Up. Another combo coming up. Check this out. Boom. Oh, my God. What was that, three grapples in a row? At least, and that could have gone longer. Oh, reversal. Boom. The skilled players are really going to be doing grapple to grapple, and when they're going up against another skilled player, that guy's going to be reversing into grapple, grapple, grapple. I mean, it sounds like this is really going to be back and forth. Absolutely. I mean, this is where it's at. A battle between two players who are skilled at grapplers is going to be a real back and forth affair. What you're looking at here is a charged grab, which grapplers can actually chain into multiple moves. Much like the uh, brawlers and the big men have charged punches, the grapplers have charged grapples. <laughs> I think he practically broke his neck there. Oh, another counter. Yeah, Brett's getting off a lot of offense, but Triple H is... Oh, well, not here. Oh, I was going to say he's countering a lot of them, but uh, Brett just did an extreme uh, move here. 
How would you say this game is appealing to the real hardcore fighting guys out there? I mean, with all these combos and chain grapples, it sounds like, you know, oh, we've got to really, interrupt really you a sec. That. We got the sharpshooter going here, and then I'm going to answer your question. Yeah, this game has a lot of depth to it. Um, between the various combos, the grapple chains uh, you have in here, the reversals, the reversals of the reversals, uh, there's a lot of depth in here. We've only just scratched the surface of what you can do in this game. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like you showed a lot of the surface in the grappler class in this latest video. Absolutely, and there's more to see. And it seems like the grappler class is really going to be something that's going to appeal to the hardcore fighters out there. Oh, absolutely, Aaron. We've got a lot of hardcore fighting game fans on our team, and we set out to put a ton of depth into WWE all stars. Well, thanks again for tuning in to another over-the-top edition of Inside the Ring featuring WWE All-Stars. And for more information about our game, check out our official website at WWEAllStars.com.